All right, this is the Renogy 400 watt portable suitcase panel. But what we're doing today is this Renogy 400 watt solar blanket. As you can see, there's a massive size difference between this one and this one. We're gonna compare the two and see which one has the higher output. But output is not all that matters in this comparison. Size is a big factor here in, uh, in the comparison. And there's sort of a little bit different use cases between why you may want to choose this one or this one, no matter who is the ultimate winner in the output challenge. And we'll talk about that uh, towards the end of the video, about how you may want to select the different options. We'll start with the, uh, the small Renogy solar blanket. Uh, check the output of that. Then we'll move on to this one and compare that one. And then, like I said, at the end of the video, we will uh, talk about the, why you may want to choose one over the other. Let's get to it. Hey, sorry for the interruption. But if you're enjoying this video, why not give me a quick thumbs up? It really helps me out. It helps push this video to other people to help them find my channel. We do practical, everyday use, solar project videos, how-to videos, and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure you don't miss a thing. Now let's get back to the video. All right, let's go ahead and get this set up here. We got us a couple of buckles on this side. This is some sort of, again, really, really thick uh, the ripstop nylon. I don't know what they call this nowadays. Back in the day, they would call it ripstop nylon. It has the waterproof uh, covered zipper with a little rubber thing to make it extra water resistant, which is nice. And those zippers do feel like really good quality zippers. We got to uh, unbuckle it there. I'm not sure what that buckle even does, honestly. I guess it just holds this flap on. It's like there's a pocket here, but I don't see how to get into it. Oh, that's, okay, so this is the pocket that's here, is why you have so much room down here. This whole buckle here just kind of seems a little bit unnecessary, but whatever. All right, we'll fold this out here one more time, and then one more time, and then we are not going to be able to get this out on this table. So we'll get this down on the ground here and uh, get it hooked up and check it out. All right, so unlike my last video of a 400-watt solar blanket similar to this, this has a nice long cord that makes it easy to get from underneath the panel uh, to be able to hook it up. So we're going to start off by hooking this up to my solar panel multimeter here and see what kind of output we get from just the solar panel without any inefficiencies of a power station or anything like that. Let's get it hooked up. It's 12.06 in the afternoon in northern Arizona in the middle of May. Plug that one in. And a negative. Try to get this, I hope I can see it. So 386 watts. The 32.83 uh, volts and 11.72 amps, according to this meter. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, the other energy panel out and see what it does with the multimeter before we move on to testing this with a portable power station. All right, we got our cords coming out the side here, and these are fairly short uh, cables, and they do not come with an extension cable on this panel either. So hopefully I can get this up high enough to see the camera. All right, so 316 watts on this panel, but it is not aimed properly. It's high noon right now, and the best position is actually laying flat like the other panel. So let's go ahead and kick these legs out and retest this. All right, so we got it laying flat on the ground now, and I'm trying really hard not to shade the panel here because it's high noon to get this shot. But we'll go ahead and rerun our test and we're looking at 304 watts so we actually lost a little bit by laying it flat here so far the 
Blanket is the winner of the output challenge here. Let's get this hooked up to a power station and see how well that does. All right, we're gonna get to test the Renogy Solar Blanket this time into our power station. We have a long extension cord here with an XT60 connector. And as you can see, we only have 10% uh, in here right now. Let's go ahead and let that ramp up and see what it's gonna pull in on the power station. It's only about 15 minutes later from the start of this video in real time. Yeah, as you can see, what I'm talking about, the, um, the solar panel tester is a lot more of an accurate of the actual output of a solar panel compared to a power station, because there's all sorts of inefficiencies that happen uh, to get this display up here right. It's not 100% accurate on any portable power station. So this is locked in, it looks like at 275 watts. And as you remember, we were getting 300 and something uh, just 15 minutes ago. So uh, let's go ahead and get the other panel hooked up now and compare the two. A few moments later. All right, so now this is the Renogy portable suitcase panel. Let's see how well this one tracks and what we get output wise on this. All right, that seems to be locked in pretty good there, 272 watts. So the difference with power output to a power station is pretty negligible, three watts. There's many different reasons why uh, one could do a few watts one way or the other, depending on a million different factors. A few moments later. All right, we're back to the Renogy solar blanket. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and time this. We're gonna run this for an hour. And just to get an idea how much more uh, power we can get into this power station, we're starting here at 12%. And we'll be back in exactly one hour to see how high we can get this up and uh, see where we're at in an hour from now on the input watch. One hour later. All right, it's been exactly one hour now. And we are still getting 278 watts. And the power station is up to 36%. I wanna do one more test and uh, put this up on the windshield and see how well it does. But we're gonna have to do that in about an hour. Uh, when the sun is kind of co coming down a little bit, somewhere around three or four o'clock, I wanna see how well it performs compared to being flat and then uh, at an angle up on the windshield that's facing the sun right now. So we'll be back in about an hour to run that test. One hour later. Uh, it's a little bit later in the day now. So I went ahead and pitched this up on the hood of my car and onto my windshield so I can get a better shot of the sun. Let's go ahead and hook this up to my solar panel tester and see what we're getting now. It's 2.20 in the afternoon now. 354.6. I'm hoping that shows up on camera. That's not bad for 2.20 in the afternoon. All right, both of these panels performed really well. And which one that you choose really, in my opinion, comes down to how you intend to use it. If you're gonna be full-time camping a lot or you're doing the van life thing, although this is large for a van life, uh, if it's gonna be outside for a long period of time and you're gonna be using it a lot, this is the one that may do better. But this one here, for most probably scenarios that most people would use these for, the compact nature of this really makes it a strong selling point. Whether you're van lifing, camping, so even for emergency preparedness, the compact nature of this, having it up in the top of your closet or something like that, really is handy because 400 watts goes a long way. The quality seems really good on it. The, uh, the only thing I would like is neither one of these came with the cable that you're gonna need to be able to go a distance to connect it to your your solar power system or your power station or whatever it is that you're gonna use. But it is what it is. You know, and it's an extra $20 or something for a cable. I'll go ahead and drop links down below for both of these uh, solar panels, as well as a uh, charge cable that you can use that's uh, kind of universal, can be used with just about anything. All right, and that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.